Next, we're going to make the perfect boucheret. This is probably the most straightforward. Everything is in this bottle, uh, batched out with the bitters and all liquor, uh, and just go off of this measurement, which is three ounces. This is how much you're going to pour into the mixing glass. And rather than doing two ounces in one, I like to do one and a half, which is the little marker on the inside, two times. It's less chance for spilling and easier to control. After that, fill it up with ice. And we'll give it a stir. And you don't need to stir this continuously. A lot of times what I like to do is get it started for about 10 seconds and then just let it sit because it's already been brought down to temperature and it's going to continue to dilute while we get everything else ready, make the garnish and so we're going to serve this in rock glass over a cube or a sphere, whichever you have and then we're also going to cut and actually get our orange round so the same concept that we did with the whisk me away and the lemon we're going to do the same thing with the orange because we're not going to use the whole thing, so there's no point in cutting off a giant twist to be wasteful. And then we'll get our cherry ready as well. Okay. Give it a little quick stir to make sure. And always, rather than trying to hold this uh, like as so, mm -hmm. always, you always want to hold it with your finger closer so it actually doesn't run the risk of popping back out and you're getting ice and liquor everywhere. Uh, once you pour it, you're going to express the orange over the cocktail. I'll rim it once and then you're done.